Day 15. You guys look horrible. Go to Chief. Find an appropriate landing spot. Goals updated. Check goals section for details. Okay. Great job, Captain. While the landing was rough, you managed to set the shuttle down with minimal losses. Everything appears to be in order aside from some damage to the communication console. I believe it's not beyond saving, although it would take... Will you please? It would take a while. Where was I? To calculate the optimal way of conducting repairs. Please remain patient, Captain. For now... For now, take a moment to take in your surroundings. Who knows? Perhaps this place will turn out to be some kind of a Mootopia. Wait, did I just say... Did I just... Moo? What a weird glitch. I meant Utopia, obviously. Tom continues to look alert. Tom still looks ill. You stop. No, April's not insubordinate. April's good. Meg is doing okay. Tom is the... Everyone's happy. Because your relationship with crewmate Thompson got better, he will once more take up for good. Tom is not hungry. Okay. And goals. Await further instructions. Make seven successful absolute decisions of any type. Okay. All right. So we, ooh, 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 that, ooh, that communication system is rough to shit, shit rough. All right. Um, so I'm going to get that cow. I don't know what to get rid of as of yet, but I feel like we need an artifact because he said move, and I feel like that was a hint, right? I'm not alone in thinking that, right? <laughs> Jesus. Captain, the expedition mod module in the back of the cabin has been activated. My advice, order someone to put the space suit on and send them outside. We should explore our surroundings carefully. Who knows what dangers await outside. One small step for Astro Citizen, one giant leap for whatever is left of humanity. Okay. Cave. Swamp. Canyon. Desert. I, she just got fed. I don't think she'll need soup, but she'll be fine. She'll be fine without soup, okay? You'll be fine without soup. You take the lighter, you explore the cave, and you hope for the fucking best. You guys look horrible. <laughs> we need more soup. Can you guys find some soup? Can I get another one of these? Did I, did I undo everything? Please tell me I didn't undo everything. Okay. Okay. All right, April, I will see you in three days. Get the fuck out of here. Yay! Not enough supplies. Send one of your crew members out on an expedition. April went out. April set out spelunking. Send happy thoughts that she'll see the light of day again. Megan continues to look ill. Megan is still insubordinate. Tom is asking. Tom, you just fucking ate. You just ate, Tom. Tom, you can't eat. You can't eat right now, Tom. You need to. You need to wait. You need to wait, Tom. How, what the fuck, Captain? I found some interesting, something interesting on the surface of the planet. It looks like somebody passed their time by playing a supersized version of Tic Tac Toe, but never completed this particular game. The game pieces consist of minerals that we could use. Now I'm not one for running, ruining someone else's fun, but I think the winner is clear by looking at the board. So they shouldn't mind if we mess up their O's and X's. Should we? Take the liberty of gathering. Yeah, fuck it. If we don't think anyone's here, you know, then it should be fine, right? And if it's not fine, then we're going to find out that it's not fine. Which is also fine. We need more soup, yo. Oh, I can craft the med kit. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. When the hell did that happen? Three days? Yeesh. Goals updated. And then look at the goals real quick. Fix the shutters. Okay, so we can fix the shit now. The dismantling of the supersized tic-tac-toe game. Uh, in progress was a success. Whoever abandoned it was nowhere to be seen. And you returned with quite a hefty load of minerals. Good. Yes, they were a bit hard to carry to the ship, being ginormous and all, but you performed splendidly. That'll teach them to leave their toys lying on the floor or a uh, planet surface. In this case, I'm sure nobody will mind. Megan continues to look sick. Megan remains disloyal. Fuck Megan. Thomas still complaining about the lack of rations. You are hungry. 
Megan is complaining about empty stomach. We just ate. You guys haven't done anything. How are you hungrier? Oh god, they are making me so sick. <laughs> Captain, we are una unable Captain, we are able to detect transmissions of unknown origin. Unfortunately, the communication console was damaged during the landing, and we cannot make anything out of them, or reply for that matter. We could hardwire primitive fuel communicator to bypass the damage system. Yeah, do that. Oh, oh, I can't. Damn it. Fuck. No one gets any food just for that. Day 18. Goal achieved. What did I? Oh, wait for the instructions. Okay. Your lack of handheld communicator effectively effectively stops you from fixing the communication call. Please go over there. Will you please? Oh, I don't have to scroll. That's why. <laughs> uh, too bad we remain stuck here with no way to contact the outside world. Our situation is not improved. I urge you to connect an operational communicator to the captain's console as soon as possible. Hungry, sick, hungry, weak. Make us about to die. Consider crafting a first aid kit and sharing it with them before it's too late. <laughs> Everyone else got over it but Megan, so I'm not gonna get over it until Megan gets over it. Megan, you want a med kit? <laughs> Stop being insubordinate. <laughs> What's that you're drawing, Captain? Is that supposed to be ham? I understand you're fed up with soup and you're reminiscing about Earth food. I would advise you go down that. I would advise you don't go down the road. Here, I have a useful program for just the occasion. It's called Everything Is Not All Peaches and Cream. It should help you focus your mind on different things. Would you like to start the process? Okay, man. No one gets food. So April should be back tomorrow, right? Soup? Did you find soup in the cave, April? April is not here. Okay. <laughs> Success, Captain! Your culinary urges have been kept under control. We spent that afternoon talking about things other than food and then circled back to agree on the many merits of tomato soup. Now, we should probably focus on surviving the mission ahead, wouldn't you say? Remember, life is but a bowl of cherries. That's not, a, that's not something anyone says. I'm not sure what that means, but my programming tells me it should make you feel better. Megan continues to look ill. Megan is dying. Good. Tom continues to look ill. We gotta make it, but no one's getting that shit. You are starving, Captain. A serving of soup would be in order. Megan is starving. Tom is starving. Tom is definitely weak. So Tom is dying. Megan is dying. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Do I care? Am I also dying? I'm starving, but am I dying? All right, so we need to craft this. You found a couple of rusted and swollen cans of soup in the darkest corner of the ship. Someone must have put them there a long time ago, and they completely forgotten about them. It doesn't look all that safe to eat, but then again, it's canned soup. It's supposed to last for seven... Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Keep that shit. Not, not even a fucking question. April. April. Yay! The ancient soup you found gave you a pause and no wonder it looks older than the ship and yet here it is. Who could have left it here? Then again, who cares? Free soup. Oh. Megan's dead. <laughs> oh, damn. Oops. <laughs> April is back from her spelunking extravaganza. She appeared frail. She appears frail in need of a meal and disturbed. But the point is that she's in one piece. You listen, unraptured, as she begins to recall her subterranean journey. The darkness was thick, but April had a lighter. It got dropped, reducing its usefulness. She found an untouched mineral vein. Nice. You're fully briefed, and... Oh, and April found some old paintings depicting ancient aliens coming to this planet to acquire soup. Was this world some kind of intergalactic soup hub? <laughs> April acquired a working communicator, lucky find, Astro Citizen. Where does all this soup come from? It's the greatest mystery of the universe and everything. Anyway, April brought back some soup. Your stomach is still rumbling. Eat something. Megan still looks starved. Tom continues to look sick. Tom is still starving. Tom remains weak. Crafted complete. So we got the communicator. April is tired of the trip. She will have to rest for a while. 
Megan is no longer among the living. Lack of food does other people. Good. 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 All right. So let's get y'all some food. <laughs> Everyone get some food. Hooray. Uh, are you sick? You're sick and tired. <laughs> okay. I've been there. Long-term space travel presents many risks to one's physical well-being, from muscular atrophy to laziness, to diets to notoriously high in sodium. I'm concerned about the decline I've seen in the entire crew's physical fitness since our little sojourn began. I recommend a daily regimen of movements that use only your own body weight. You don't need any equipment for those. Just gravity or artificial gravity. Any volunteers for a workout? Uh, strength, wimpy. Strength fit, strength wimpy. Yeah, Tom, you could, Tom, you work out. I'm fine. I don't need to do anything. I'm the captain. I'm gonna sit around and do nothing. Uh, let's craft some shit. Megan's dead, which is also a wonderful situation because one less mouth to feed. Captain, Tom's form was abysmal. Push-ups and planks don't require that much strength. At least it's bare minimum required to be a model astro citizen. Tom felt hungry after that workout, but no caloric rewards could be given. Those are for the strong people. Tom looks seek. seek. Tom looks weak. Captain completed. We got that shit for some reason. You might want to secure some rations for yourself, Captain. April is arrested. Tom is asking for more rations. You guys are still hungry? Oh, you know what? Because they were starving. They were starving and I fed them so now they're hungry. Uh, stay hungry. Stay hungry. Let's repair the lighter. We got 60 of those so we can do that. Uh, okay. Everything is looking fine, honestly. Our water recycler is overheating. The overheating itself isn't the problem. The system has safeguards. The problem is we store our minerals under the water recycler. I'm worried that any minerals there are even leftover chances could melt or boil if exposed to too much heat. That could be hazardous. And manual reset could work, but would be tough. Do you want to try it? If that's what we got to do, we got to live with these things. Okay. Um, moving on. We're going for a while. We're doing a good job. You, ooh. you opted to manually reset the overheating water recycler. The job was harder than you expected. The Astro Citizen patented water recycler guide specifically warns against not not releasing this, any steam jets during such repairs. The steam, steam jets you let loose vaporize some of the exposed minerals stored next to you. Of course they did. Of course. <sighs> okay, let's re let's let's um let's feed Tom and. Mm -hmm. Uh, Dee Dee. Huh? And that's it. Captain, the communication module remains broken and we are completely deaf. Blind, even. even. It is entirely possible that someone is out there, maybe looking for us, but we won't know until the issue is solved. We can hardwire. Okay, so we can. We made a communicator, so maybe it will do something. Maybe. They're getting food. Uh, I don't know. I have no idea. Where the hell did I go? Goal achieved. Fix the shuttle's communication system. Goals updated. Check goal section for... Okay, we'll look at that afterwards. Hold on. Great success, Captain. The communicator attached to the communications console worked like a charm. I won't judge the aesthetic since we can finally receive and answer transmissions. Now all we need to do is wait for someone to contact us. Someone will find us eventually. The crew is visibly excited by this incredible feat of engineering. They're only slightly smirking while looking at the patch communication console. Tomorrow would be great. Tom remains sick. Upgrade. Okay, Tom died. Which means that we could just use the med kit on April. I stopped complaining about rations. Okay, where the fuck am I? Await contact. Where did I go? <laughs> Alright, let's get... Okay. I don't need you to die. I can't be alone in all this. Tom's dead. Megan's dead. Uh, I don't... Uh, 
I don't... I'm glad I finally convinced you to go... Oh, that's what... Uh, around the shuttle and stretch a little outside even if you claim I forced you with my constant whining. It's for your own good, Captain. When you step outside, you notice a small asteroid coming right at you. You try to run back inside, but it looks like the airlock snapped shut behind you. I needed a moment to reopen the doors for you, so you need to figure out a way to deal with the asteroid yourself. Will you dodge? Will you dodge out of the way gracefully or grab the nearest flat and heavy rock to make? Okay, so this has a star, and this has one tick. So that is the ranking system. So we're going to dodge and hope for the best. Um... We're running low on soup and shit, so it's good that people are dying. Just my opinion. <laughs> Look at her! <laughs> ah, April's doing better. You definitely dodged the asteroid's path, and when it does settle, confirmed you're in one piece. Awesome. On further inspection, the asteroid reminded you of partially chewed bubblegum. This gave you a few ideas about the scale of the universe and its inhabitants that you weren't too keen to entertain. Permission to speak freely, Captain. You are now insane. Some shock therapy featuring the friendly face of a sock puppet is in order. April is good. April is hungry, but April's fine. All right, you get this sock puppet. Hopefully, it helps you. Um, you're fine for now. We're not going to feed you. While we don't have an infinite supply of soup, we do have some old science equipment tucked away on various parts of the shuttle in case of emergency research. If you wanted to lose a can of soup, you can try to find a way to improve the formula. The label lists the ingredients as tomatoes, water, and salt. We can add anything and potentially create the most delicious soup in the galaxy. Okay. I like these ideas. You guys aren't... You're, you're, ve you're innovative. You're being very innovative. Alright. We can afford to lose a can of soup because Tom and Megan's dead. Captain! This is incredible. Although our science equipment did not survive the procedure... You've isolated the long pursued chemical element. The soup pan to soup pan to my tomato. Soup pan tomato. With just a single and slightly glowing spoonful of tomato soup and rich with the discovery, we were able to fill several cans of our favorite liquid. Bon appetit. Are you seeing things a bit more clearly? You are no longer insane, probably. Okay, good. Good. And we got more soup. Good. Good. We need to craft another med kit. Um <sighs> Jesus. Captain, I'm detecting a troubling buildup of mental tension. Recommend a course of action, throw it up and party. I took the liberty of inviting myself, but of course your crewmate should join us too. Although you know what they say, three's a crowd. How about we invite someone new, eh? Uh, uh, eh, Captain, someone you don't know, or we make ourselves a new companion? Yes, uh, how do we do it? We don't have the sock puppet anymore because we just used it for our insanity. I guess we could use the mask. Can I send someone out? Can I send April out? I can. Oh, okay. April. Are you hungry? All right, let me feed you. Hmm. I'm going to feed you so you don't die while you're out there. Am I hungry? Hmm. No, I'm okay. Okay. I'm going to feed April so she doesn't die while she's out there. Um, We got to wait for the shit to crap. So everything's good. Everything's going perfectly fine. All right. The party was the hit, Captain. I loved how you put the mask in front of you and pretended it was a person. That sounds like insanity. Mysterious Dolores, apparently. Could you tell me again who won the staring contest? One way or another, the party with the mask was a success. You feel much better now. Saner, even. Who would have thought April looks good? I'm in peak. Everyone's doing good. Everyone, everyone's doing fine, and the mask didn't fucking disappear into nothingness. All right. April, you're getting out of here. Uh, what's in the swamp? Radiation. April. You're going, you're going to take the handbook and the mask. I don't know why she would need the handbook. I don't want her to take the lighter or the tape. You're just getting the mask. I hope it helps you. I don't know what the octopus would be for, uh, but yeah. Oh. They're cutting grass. They're cutting grass. I'm sorry. You guys are going to hear the grass getting cut in the background. I uh, hope, hopefully it's not too loud. Cap! 
Captain, April spotted a blue veiny fruit growing out of a crack in the ground nearby. It's pulsating slightly. Should someone give the fruit a try? Normally I'd refrain from leaving such a rash and irresponsible decision up to a human, but there's some... Okay, I guess I gotta eat it then. Since there wasn't an option to just not eat it. All right, see you later, April. Have a good trip. Hopefully everything goes well for you. I'm alone now with dead bodies. You decided that the blue fruit near the ship was worth trying. Your face gluttonous with pleasure as you sunk your teeth in before quickly turning to horror. The other half was full of purple, wriggling worms. You began to spit it out, but fell into a spasm, and woke a few minutes later saying your mind was buzzing as if at double speed. You flipped around into a handstand and began perambulating around. <laughs> Clearly those worms did something. Let's hope the effects don't turn. April's gone. Your stomach feels empty. Okay, so I'm hungry. I can't craft anything because we're waiting on a med kit. <laughs> I'll feed myself. Ma'am, I'm detecting an unusual disturbance in our mini reactor. You see the membrane of a light space time itself tearing open. Figures are moving and speaking on the other side. Don't blank blank through blank blank exchange exotic matter or blank blank wrist blank blank. What do we do? Offer something or attempt to communicate. Let's offer something. I guess I can't communicate. I thought that it was fixed. I that, that, that's a one-time use? I didn't know that. That makes me kind of upset. The space-time breach in the mini-reactor chamber was still bubbling when you threw the artifact in there. The figure on the other side became perfectly clear for a moment. It was you. The tear closed up just as you got a good look. Well, that, that was wasteful. I wasted it. Well... <laughs> Uh, when it was closing, a first aid kit came flying out. Sincere thanks, or was simply part of the exchange. I wonder. We gave her the artifact. She gave us a first aid kit. But I'm crafting a first aid kit, or not? Do I have two first aid kits now? I better. So uh, I can't. Oh God, I can't even do anything. Fine. An alien vessel is approaching. The ship is rigged with the light shows sync to the music. They started blasting as soon as we opened comps. Captain, they're playing rockabilly. Mm -mm. The, alien claim, the aliens claim to be of the dance floor tribe and are searching for the best dancers in the galaxy. They've challenged our tribe to a dance off, specifically a sock off. If you don't accept, they will vaporize us with their ultra high frequency speakers. I guess we're dancing. I guess we're having a dance party. I don't know, y'all. I really don't know what's going on. You accepted the dance floor challenge but lost the dance off. The aliens beamed you up and then and you stumbled onto the dance floor. Is it is it the time? Is it cut grass time? Damn it! Not even a sequin jacket could have saved you. The dance floors honor anyone brave enough to step up to their holy dance floor. They're so close, I can feel my floor vibrating. Their leader, Warbop, spared you, but warned that you'd better have sweeter moving next time. Okay. There's nothing to report, Captain. I suggest you, Captain. Would you mind covering your mouth when you yawn? I thought you were a good. I thought you got a good night's sleep. Wait, could this be boredom? Yes, I've heard that you humans need excitement in their lives to function properly. How curious. Captain, you're sitting in a state-of-the-art space shuttle drifting through the deep cosmos full of wonder and mystery. Can you at least pretend you're having a good time? I guess I can read the handbook. Uh, up my knowledge of the universe? Is it a handbook for the universe or a handbook for... Just... Yesterday started pretty slow, but you managed to turn it around browsing your Astro Citizen handbook on the toilet. I mean, in the airlock, you found a set of exercises and decided to try them out. You did jumping jacks all afternoon. How fun. But more importantly, it was healthy. You feel much better now. You're still very mentally stable. April's still out. Uh, and I'm hungry. Okay. Use a guide to translate the mysterious message. A guide? Cat. Oh, this. Captain, we picked up a transmission. It seems to be recording... A recording that's been playing on the loop for many, many years. Unfortunately, 
the message is in a foreign language and you can't understand it. Perhaps you can use something to decode the message. All right, hopefully that works. Uh, I still have nothing. I guess I can craft another sock puppet in the in, in case of uh, insanity. We still have the atomic thingy battery. Is that what it was? I don't remember. Oh, April is crazy. <laughs> oh, use a guy. Okay, go to cheat. Await contact. Will you please, please? There we go. God. Okay. <laughs> it's it's just it. You know. It takes time. Yesterday we picked up a transmission that's been playing for years. Since the message was in a foreign language, you had to use a guide to decode its meaning. So, so far, the sock puppet has been important. The guide has played a part. And maybe that's it. Yesterday we picked up a transmission that's been playing for years. Since the message was in a foreign language, you had to use a guide to decode its meaning. While you weren't able to translate the entirety of the message, you did figure out that it describes an ancient pyramid. The location of which you were able to determine. Perhaps it wouldn't be a bad idea to ex explore that pyramid. Keep that in mind when uh, planning your next expedition. April has completed her wild rump in the swamp. She appears a bit sickly in need of food and upset. But the primary focus is that she is not an alien doppelganger. Doppelganger, we think. You pay attention as she begins to recount her field day in the muck. April tripped over a weird, weird idol that released a deadly cloud of poisonous gas. Thanks to the mask, she wasn't harmed. The gas corroded the mask filters, though. Okay. The swamp is chemically rich. April harvested many useful chemicals, compounds. Uh, good. We got more soup. Quite a trip, eh? Good thing April is home safe. Uh, April is insane, and she is really tired. Okay. So... Explore the pyramid. That's what's next. Okay. I wasn't planning on playing this until I died, but I guess that's what's happening. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna stop right here. I'm gonna stop right now. We're gonna make this a two-parter. You know, I think everything is going okay so far. I mean, I don't know. Outside of April, very clearly having lost it, but the sock puppet's on his way, which should hopefully help her in some format. Um, Megan and Tom are dead. They're dead, which helps everything, because now we have all the soup to ourselves. If we can get April back from her insanity, we should be good to go. This is fun. I really didn't plan on playing as long as I've been playing it, but it kind of, you just want to keep going, keep going, keep going, because you want to see what happens next. Thumbs up for positivity. Thumbs up for this shit, and if you like this shit, make sure you like that shit. Um, man, tell me what you guys think of this in the comments. <laughs> this is hilarious. Megan died so fast. You can't trust anyone named Megan. You know. Megan. Um. Yeah, that's it. I will continue playing this. Uh, bad boy. Hopefully it saves in some manner. I don't know. Uh, fingers crossed. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do my best to keep playing this. Um. And I'll see you guys, in, you know, in the next video. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more awesome Silverback Atmosphere Fantabulous. Yes. I love you all. And I thank you all for watching. Jojo out.